Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. I know I am. If you stumbled across this video thinking it was one of my main channel videos, it's not. This is my second channel. Get that through your skull. My second channel is where I like to get a little bit more goofy. I like to do a little bit less structured videos. You know, I don't have to script them out. I can just kind of sit down and just wing it. So that's what we're doing today. Also on this channel, I like to drink LaCroix. And I've mentioned in the past that I have a favorite flavor of LaCroix, but I've never mentioned what it is. I have a very special announcement. I actually have that flavor here with me today. It is the Lemoncello flavor. It's really good. So at the beginning of the year, I was thinking a lot about the year 2020. It sounds like such a futuristic year. I think we all thought we'd never get here. And now that we are, it feels like we're living in the future. It made me think a lot about like, I wonder how close we are to what people in the past thought the future would be like. And then I stumbled across this video that's called In the Year 2000, Fashion Predictions from 1939. It's from this channel called Vintage Fashions, but it's this video from 1939 where all of these fashion experts try to guess what people will be wearing in the year 2000. And I'm a obsessed with this video. I watch it a lot. I have, I think, almost the whole thing memorized. It's only a minute and 14 seconds long, and most of it is about women's fashion, but at the very end, they talk about men's fashion, and they do one little outfit for the man, and I think it's great. I love the outfit, and I'm pretty sad because it seems like it never really came to fruition. This type of outfit doesn't exist, and I truly think that it's the outfit of the ideal man of the future. So I want to show you guys this video, and then I'm going to make this outfit so that I can be the ideal man of the future. Okay, let's take a look at this video. Video. But not before I get another sip of this lemoncello. Some of the most famous fashion designers in the US today have been asked to forecast what Eve will look like in AD 2000. One idea is a dress that can be adapted for morning, afternoon, or evening. It's the sleeves, what does it? I love the way they used to talk back in the day. It's the sleeves, what does it? Everyone talks so fancy. So this is a dress where you can like zip off the sleeves when it gets hot and then you can zip things on when it gets cold. I guess things like this exist. There's those zip off pants that like hiking dads wear. So maybe this kind of exists. According to another artist, one dress of the future will consist of transparent net. The net, uh, probably, to catch the mail. The net to catch the mail. That'd be cool if there was actually like a net gun that just shot out a net to catch men instead of just being made of net. This one, I also feel like is is kind of a thing. There's like mesh clothing, which is pretty similar. I don't know about this like wiry boob thing. Apparently in AD 2000, we shall be having a hair raising time. Yet another designer goes so far as to believe that skirts will disappear entirely. Shoes will have cantilever heels and an electric belt will adapt the body to climatic changes. The lightly clad woman of tomorrow, ooh, swish. Ooh, swish, oh fuck. Will move in an atmosphere that's scientifically kept at the right temperature. The future bride in a wedding dress of glass. What the groom will wear, apart from a worried look, isn't mentioned. <laughs> uh, I love that, that old school uh, hating your wife humor. Oh, I'm getting married, oh fuck. Or maybe he's wearing a worried look because his wife's wedding gown is made out of glass. A dress of aluminium with a sash to change it for afternoon or evening, and an electric headlight to help her to find an honest man. Ah, that'll help her find an honest man. A light bulb shining right in her eye. Ah, perfect! Now I can... Now I can finally find an honest man! Oh, I was so blind before. I mean, metaphorically, now I'm literally blind. Fuck, that really... Should not have done that. I am seeing spots now, boy. Okay, all right, okay. Here comes the man part. Pay very close attention. As for him, if he matters at all, there won't be any shaving, collars, ties, or pockets. He'll be fitted with a telephone, a radio, and containers for coins, keys, and candy for cuties. Oh man, there's so, there's so much good stuff here. First off, they don't address this fucking crown that he's wearing? Are all men in the future kings? There won't be any shaving, colors, ties, or pockets. There won't be any shaving, colors, ties, or pockets. All of those things go out of style in the year 2000. No more ties, no more shaving. You will have to have a beard. Okay, so here's a breakdown of this outfit. He's in a full ass jumpsuit. He's got a telephone and a radio strapped to his chest. And then he's got this belt with separate containers for coins, keys, and candy for cuties. I don't know what things were like back in the 30s, but was it that easy to woo a woman you, with just a container of candies? Hey, you wanna go back to my place? I've got jelly beans. I like that they took some liberties with like new inventions with the women, like the dress made of glass. It's like, ooh, that must be some kind of new type of glass. And they didn't really do that with the man. They took things that already exist, like a phone and a radio and containers and just glued it to him. But anyway, I am dying to try this shit out. All right, I got a whole bunch of boxes with a whole bunch of stuff. Let's Let's open it up. Oops. 
Okay, I've got everything I need here and some stuff that I, I turns out I don't need. I've got a nice jumpsuit to put everything on. We got the belt to attach all the cool shit. I've got a little phone holder so I can attach the phone to my chest. I'm just gonna be using my cell phone since uh, I don't know why I would use a landline looking thing when I can just use my phone. Then I've got some containers for coins, keys, and candies for cuties. So I was planning on just using these containers for coins and keys and then getting a nice big container for candies for cuties. So I bought this nice big thing. I figured in this weird world where candies equals cuties, I would want the biggest container for candies possible. So I ordered this, which I thought would be plastic, so I could drill some holes in it and then be able to tie some wire to the belt to attach it. Uh, turns out this thing's made of glass and is a lot heavier than I expected. I don't think I'm going to be able to attach this to the belt. So I might just have to either use one of these containers for candies, which would be a shame because it's so goddamn small. I'll, I won't be able to get any cuties. Or I'll just have to carry this thing around like a fucking creep to, to offer the candy to the cuties, like so. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I've also got some wire to make myself a crown. Let's tackle the belt first. I bought this nice belt with like a cool metal clip because I thought it would look futuristic. Okay, here's the rub. I've got to figure out where these are gonna go on the belt. So I gotta put the belt on, gotta tighten it up. Oh, well that's not really gonna work then, is it? So here's a tricky thing. I was thinking I would have like two containers here and one container here, but I can't glue to this part because then I won't ever be able to take the belt off because this has to slide through this very small hole to come out. So if I glue one to here, I can't ever take it off, which would be fine if we lived in the alternate future where this outfit did become popular, but I kind of feel like I'm gonna want to put back on my normal clothes after this, so I... Don't think I can do that. I can maybe glue it onto here, but then this is good, just gonna dangle and that doesn't look very futuristic. We're meeting the first of our challenging engineering problems in this project. Well, let's mark. I don't have a fucking marker either. Can I mark, can I just mark with a scissor? I can't. This is a tough belt. All right, whoever made this belt, there's your free advertising. Guys, if you're looking for a tough belt, buy this one. It's on Amazon, I searched belt. All right, let me go get a marker real quick. Ah. Now I know that probably a container could go here and let's say here. As for this side, maybe I can tuck the belt underneath and then use like the wire to keep it there and then I can put one container here. Well, no, I can't really do that because because uh, that looks like shit. Wait, can I just cut the belt to like right here? Ha 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 ha! Danny, you mastermind, you figured it out. You can just cut the belt. There we go, now I can glue one right here. I'm a little concerned about how long it took me to realize that I could just cut the belt, but you know, we're not gonna talk about that. We're just gonna start gluing. If you guys have seen my Troom Troom videos, you know how much I love using hot glue. That of course is a joke. I think that it is a, a hellish substance that burns my fingers every chance that it gets, so I am not excited for this in the least bit. I gotta wait for it to heat up to about the temperature of the sun. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh yeah, that's a good size glob. All right, let's go ahead and throw that shit down. And I'm just gonna, aha, look, I don't even have to touch it. I can press down on it from up here. All right, I'm gonna press down on it for 10 seconds. Okay, and I'm gonna leave that. And I'm not gonna touch it until I've done all of these. That way I can be disappointed when none of them stick. Okay, let's let's give this one a tug and see how we're doing here. Ah, okay, it's actually sticking. Look at that, ha ha ha. Take that, haters. All right, first test. We are putting the belt of the future on. Ooh, the belt is warm. It's almost like the climate control belt from the other outfit. Tighten this up. All right. Oh, you want, a co you want coins? I've got plenty right here in my container. Oh, I need to get into my house? Let me just take my keys out. Oh, you're a cutie. <laughs> oh, well, I've got a separate container just for you. Here's some bubble gum. Well, this is working surprisingly well. I don't want to get sappy, but I, I was really worried that this wasn't going to work and this, you know, I was going to order all this stuff from Amazon for nothing and this whole video would be a waste of time. So I'm really glad that I was able to glue these three containers onto this belt and now I've got about 30 extra containers that I have no idea what to do with. I'm actually feeling so good about this that I'm like half tempted to glue this heavy ass glass candy container to this belt. But we're going to we're going to wait till the end to try this cuz that, that Oh, it sits like that. Well, doesn't matter. All right, let's get this jumpsuit on. Yeah, this is pretty this is pretty good looking. Hey! This thing has pockets. In the future there's no pockets. I'll have to hot glue them shut. 
Also, this this really smells like shit. Did someone already like work a long, hard day doing manual labor in this coverall? Why does this smell like n nasty? Okay, so for the phone holder, I got like a, a phone holder that would go in your car. See, like, what is the point of putting your phone on this and not just putting it in a pocket? I feel like it'd be way safer in a pocket, but there's no pockets in the future, so I guess we can't. So this is like a suction cup here. I'm wondering if I could glue this to the suit and if that would even hold. Cause then, then we'd have some really nice, like, you know, I could adjust it to any angle. If I wanted to, if I had it on my chest and I wanted to show someone a video, I could, you know, show them just in case they're like eight feet tall and they want to look at the video. Okay, so the suction cup actually suctions to this disc. So maybe I'll just glue this disc onto my shirt and then I can suction cup this bad boy to the disc. Get a nice healthy dose of hot glue humped onto this bad boy and flip it over. Cool. So that is on there, hopefully. So now I can stick this on there, hopefully. And then I can put my phone in that, definitely. Oh shit, okay, it's staying, that's good. All right, well, I guess that means that this'll hold, hopefully. I feel like that looks even more futuristic than the actual outfit did. It's got this cool fucking robot arm on it. Now, before we put the whole outfit together, I need to work on the crown, so I'm gonna do that. So I gotta measure my head. That's how big my head is. Is my head shaped like that? Why is my head shaped like a gumdrop? I think the, uh, out of everything, the crown is the thing I'm most excited for. That's really what caught my eye. And that's why I'm, I'm so disappointed when you hear me talking about how they don't even mention it. Cause I'm like, what does that do? Is it like a satellite? Is it like some kind of way of contacting aliens? All right, so. All right, let's see if that's enough. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay. You know, this has taken a decent amount of work. I thought this second channel was supposed to be for shit that was easy. Now I'm doing all this. Should this just go on my main channel? Nah, cause I'm drinking LaCroix. Moment of truth. Ow, feels like it doesn't quite fit on my head anymore. I don't know how that happened. Did my head get bigger? Did I get smarter? Maybe because I learned so much from this experience, my head got a little bigger. Well that, you know, that doesn't exactly look how I thought it was gonna look. It's definitely a lot taller than the one in the video. But you know what, I feel like it still looks cool. It still looks futuristic. It is definitely poking my head. Now that everything's in place and I'm feeling pretty good about everything, I wanna try one kind of crazy thing. I'm gonna see if I can hot glue this big glass thing to the jumpsuit. Cause I really want this to be part of it. Even though it is so big and heavy. I've been overwhelmingly impressed with the performance of the hot glue thus far. So I don't see any reason why this wouldn't work. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try hot gluing it right here. Probably have to work fast cause we've got a lot of glue to place and we wanna do it before it starts hardening. And I feel like it's already starting to harden. So that is not good. Come on, stick. Please. I'm begging you, this is all I have. This is all I was looking forward to. This is not gonna stick, I, I can already tell. And now I'm gonna ruin the jumpsuit by getting it covered in hot glue. All right, let's give it a go. I'm just gonna lift it up and we'll see if it, oh fuck. Well see now it kind of seemed like it actually did stick for a second. So maybe I'm onto something here. Okay, we're gonna try this again. All right, this really means a lot to me, probably a little bit too much. I'm placing a lot of my self worth on whether this is gonna work. So, so nervous to pick this up. This is not gonna work. It was so stupid of me to think this was gonna work, but only one way to find out. Try to do it towards the camera so we can all experience this moment together. A one, a two, a three. No, no, no. Come on. Okay, all right. Well, no, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It didn't work, but on the plus side, now the jumpsuit is covered in little pieces of hot glue. Candies for Cuties sounds like a charity. You give underprivileged cute girls candy. Cause that's really what they need. All right, so I'm gonna, let's zoom this out. And now we're gonna put on the jumpsuit. This has been a lot of work. I am very excited to see how my life changes as I become the man of the future. Everything is going A-OK. -okay. This smells like garbage. And now I smell like garbage. But hey, that's, that's just how the future smells, baby. Oh yeah. I mean, how futuristic do I look right now? Be honest. Look at this. Only one thing left for a futuristic king like me to do, and that's to put on my crown. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely little pieces of metal poking me in the head, but I'm feeling good. 
I guess I should put some coins, keys, and candy into my outfit and see how I fare, you know? See if I feel like I'm living in the future. Laura, do you want to be in my video? Okay. Can you bring me coins, if you have any, and keys? And any candy if you have it. Okay, I can do that. Okay, and meet me up here. Oh my god, okay. How do I look? No. <laughs> that is scary. If you had to describe me in one word, what would you say? Like a janitor who's lost his mind. That was more than one word, but. Coins, keys, and candies for cuties. I've got my phone attached in a very <laughs> handy way. It's on an adjustable arm, so I can, if I wanted to show you a video. Mm hmm I could do so. Why would you need like <laughs> to hand out coins, keys, and candy? I don't need to hand out anything yeah. except the, the candy. The candy is for cuties. That's a lot of coins. Well, <laughs> you never know. I can't really see my, my candy well, container. I don't feel like I could help you. Like that's not <laughs> part of the experiment. Okay, so now I just want to do a couple of tests and you let me know how I look and we'll see how I feel. I've got my keys, coins, Candies for cuties. I wanna just do like a walking around test to see how everything feels. I feel like I have a lot on me and I wanna make sure that I can move about as I need to. Right, like how sturdy is it? Yeah. I noticed you didn't mention my crown at all. Did you even see the crown? I saw it, but it's not like the most outstanding part of this. It's outfit. not? Cause no. to me, it's the only thing that doesn't make any sense. Well, this is all, I can utilize all this. What is the purpose of this? We'll start out with just a regular walk and see how that... Okay, okay, now let's take it to a brisk walk. Oh, Man of the future's gotta be somewhere, and he left his hoverboard at home. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, now let's try a run, a little bit of a jog. Hold the future bus for me, I'm late, and I need to come get the... Oh, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> what happened, future boy? Well, you know what? It didn't fail in the places that I thought it would, okay? Everything's hot glued on. I thought that that would be the first thing to fail. The coins just fell because the the lid came off. Where's your phone? It's just on the ground here. No, I'm sorry, I didn't get that far. The dog booked it, she's gone. Well, you know, the future can be scary for some people. Are you hot? You're in like a full body suit, is it hot? Did I in the video look good? Yes, but he also had a goatee, so that might have been part of it. Walking around in the future just sounds like <laughs> Let's let's do a quick test. I get home. I get home and I need to unlock my house. I like that keys are still a thing in the future. Like they couldn't think of a world where there's no keys. They're like, "Well, obviously you need a place to put your keys." The weirdest thing is that coins are a thing. Yeah. They thought we'd have these in the future, but we'd still be using keys. And what world do we have does everyone wear a crown, but we still use keys and coins? Put it back. Simple as that. It didn't feel simple. It was simple. Next step, I have to pay for something. So I walk over and I say, excuse me, Mr. Panda, I'd like to buy that basket. Oh, it'll be three cents. Let me dig through all, all of the coins. Three pennies for you, sir. Have a great day. Honestly, I'm fucking with it. I don't know about you. How do you feel? I, like, I, I it is not growing on me. Is it because there's pockets? Because the video said there's not supposed to be pockets. <gasps> no, it's not the pockets. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, um, yeah, I feel like I pretty much proved my point. What was the point? I'm bored. <laughs> okay, that's the end of the video.